right, welcome everyone, Resemblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Silver, Silver Spoon, Spoon, Season 1, Episode 2. Uh, right. Egg. We, the yeah. Egg of the anus. Mm-hmm. Yep. The butt. The right. chicken butt. We, we, we conquered the, the fear of the... The anus. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Yep. Well, so well done, Hutchkin. You're, you're doing you're doing great. This That's is right. this is a nice start First step there. complete. You had a such a hard day that you didn't think about the complexities of the food that you're eating. Nope. Just because you couldn't really think about much of anything. It's just do do do. And now oh, the day's do, done. Do do yes, that's that's I think exactly what he was thinking of. No, 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 no. definitely not, definitely not. Mm -mm. No, but he has bumped into an equestrian girl, a mm. horse girl, and she's cute. She is cute, yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, see where <laughs> there's some uh, potential there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. But we also have a bunch of uh, uh, classmates of sorts mm -hmm. that are also your, you know, roommates, bunk mates, you know. All oh, quirky in mates. their own ways, but most all of them having been raised in an environment where they're mm -hmm. much they better prepared this. for this kind of work than you are. Exactly. So yeah. the direction being one where he kind of acclimates a little bit more, yeah. but also maybe brings a unique perspective. Sure. Also has to humble himself and learn a bit from them as well. Right. Yeah. So, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. ハチケンはなんか部活やらねえの。うん。俺スポーツ苦手だし。そうなんだ。それに部活なんてやってたら勉強遅れるだろ。でもさ、たまに体動かした方が集中力上がるぜ。割り俺塾があるから少しでも上
よし今日の実習終了一週間お疲れやったもう四月いっぱいは畜産実習ないよねやったしばらく朝五時起きから解放される昔部活か In fact, you better hope you do because if your sleep patterns readjust then on your off of the next week いいおっぱいしてんなあ俺はこの腰のラインがエクセレントですエクセレント誰だどう<笑><笑>君は今この馬のことをブサイクだと見学来てくれた The bad vibes horses will be like ne この前のそうだよ The giant あげてみる Fingers down Yeah, fingers down I swear How did I know? Oh, no, he hadn't done that yeah. yet Yeah It's just yep. the fear. Uh huh. Yep. <laughs> 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 like my life passed before I had I had I had them, but. Yeah, a butterfly can scare a horse. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 なんかめんどくさそうな生き物だなそのめんどくささがまたいいっしょ馬術部か馬に乗って自分の足を使わないってのは True Yeah You can go for the angle of it just being a Just helpful Less 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 intense physical exercise But then little does he know how much actual like endurance is needed to ride a horse Mm-hmm 実習きついけど見かけともいい感じだし農業高校そんなに悪くないかも小じおきからも解放されたしちなみに我が部は毎日馬の世話があるので毎朝四時起きです<笑>どうだ<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Oh, it's evil. Yeah, it's so evil. Ah, imagination is a hell of a thing. Yeah, yeah. Ha 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 Hunger is the best seasoning. Mm. <laughs> Hunger is the best seasoning. そういうのに少しでも早く関わりたくてここを選んだんだ。俺なんか夢持ってて叶える方法を分かっててもさ、それだけじゃダメなんだ。あ
じゃあ僕物質こっちだから<laughs> They're like an evil body improvement club. Exactly. <laughs> oh, you did not. Yep. いや、その流れで入部しちゃったっていうかすいません。馬に興味ないの?そのぶっちゃけ乗れたらかっこいいなくらいで馬自体は苦手かもしれないです。それは良い。はなんだこのおっさん。He <笑> runs the whole place. See my cute horse. Oh, the principal. Yep, yep. Of course, yep. あ、初心者諸君、そろそろ馬に乗ってみますか。ああ。スイートスイートビクトリー。馬に乗ったことはこの前先生の後ろに乗せてもらったのが初めてです。では、ここに。この馬。He's already used to you. That's the thing though. いいよ。ポスチャー。もっと。もっと。もっと。はい。あ。高いのに地面と繋がってる感じがする。うん。自分と違う種族、価値観。<笑><笑> まれ育つ。道の元であったからこそ得られるものがあります。Even <笑> <laughs> Another episode. Another episode. Yep. And uh, yeah, we've uh, got ourselves in the equestrian club. That's right. Not the Holstein club. No, not the Holstein no. club. <laughs> you know, it was close. We had a close brush. But Close we managed to escape. Death. Yeah. No, no. The, the, oh my god, the, <laughs> the debate was so real. I can't it's believe, so good. I can't believe I fell for it. Uh -huh. I was genuinely like, oh, okay, all right. All right, yeah, is, you know. Is, mm -hmm. Nope. Yeah, farmers are busy, they gotta, they gotta, you know, get time whenever they can. And it's such a classic trope to have the club of absolute weirdos mm -hmm. in, you know, your, 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 yep. uh, your anime high school setup here, but instead it's the no, we're really weird. We appreciate cows, oh, yeah, specifically mm -hmm. like female cows. <laughs> well, I mean, there's a certain breed of female. Cows. I mean, those are the specific ones they're working with, you know, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. it's just enthusiasm and dedication to their to their profession. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but look at the boobs on this one, like, bruh, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> like y'all need to chill like that there are limits there are there are there are absolutely some limits who and the legs on that one oh yeah <laughs> check Excellent. out them hips yeah. yeah that ass yeah god um but having the equestrian club be the one that he picks primarily because Mikage's in it mm -hmm. and, you know, cute girl, so that's good yep. to start. But I like that he's immediately shoveling shit, mm -hmm. you know, pitchforking shit. Waking up an hour earlier. An hour earlier on his week off. Oof. Oh, that that's yeah. that's rough, buddy. Yep. But, but that all being said, the experience of going into an environment where you're still a little bit scared, you're a little bit nervous of things, and immediately getting that kind of reward of the the new perspective on things is is mm -hmm. really really good. And yeah. I, I like the idea that Hachiken's growth is not going to be about him just becoming a 
super competent best farmer that right. like no, no one no. ever was. No, no, it's that his growth is going to be about committing to the hard work that it takes right. to build a dream. Yep. Because it's not just building the dream that's hard. It's also sticking with something or or picking oh, yeah. oh, one yeah. thing means you're not picking a whole bunch of uh, a whole mm-hmm. bunch of other things. Yep. Commitment is commitment is tough. And a lot of people won't see the unknown because they don't want to go through the hard work that's possible in order to shift their perspective on Well something. and and if you hadn't signed up for this school, yep. like you kind of you kind of tied yourself to this this ship, right? right. Yeah. And if not for that if you had ever, in a, another set of circumstances, uh-huh. right, gotten into a situation where it's like, okay, wake up at five, right, you're going to be working fourteen hour days, mm-hmm. you're going to be fed well, but you know that's basically going to be your whole existence of just work yep. and eat and sleep. Very and, true. You know, like he would have bailed it out of that as fast as he fucking could. He would have ran for the hills. Yeah, because of course he would, right? Yep. Who, who, who in their right mind would want to be in something like that? Well, but, not just that. Him, the person who was specifically going uh, for the purpose of studying to get his, you know, numbers so impressive mm-hmm. that he gets into a really good university. Right. And then also, you know, maybe yeah. not wanting to be living at home. You know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's not exactly the kind of thing that'd be up his alley. And yet, because he because he committed to it, yeah. right, then he's forced to adapt, he's forced to learn, mm-hmm. and he realizes he can grow in a lot of ways that he didn't think he would have, mm-hmm. right? Like yeah. the idea that he can start waking up at 4 a.m. and it sucks, but he's able to do it. He's able to do right? it. Right? Yeah, I do I do find it to be almost uh, like the kind of silly setup thing where he's going to end up missing 5 a.m., Wake yeah. up things. He'll oh, come yeah. back after Golden Week and he'd be like, 5 a.m. Wake up. This yeah. is so good. And people are like, what the fuck is wrong There's with gonna you? be that one random like off day from the Equestrian Club, and he's gonna wake up at five and he's gonna be like <sighs> I'm so privileged. Mm. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. It must be nice that y'all are. Oh, you guys get to wake up this oh, late. Wake every up so day. late. Yeah, exactly. And they're gonna be like, <laughs> fuck you, dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so good. Yep. yep. Uh yeah. But, okay, the equestrian club. Mm-hmm. A little bit of fear, again, with another animal that's oh, yeah. that he doesn't fully understand. The whole um, idea of when he's, like, going to, like, feed the carrot to the horse, and he's like, this horse is giant, what the fuck? I'm, and then he gonna... imagines it tearing off his hand. Yeah. Yeah, we've uh-huh. all felt that. If you've ever fed a horse, it's, it is it's definitely scary. a fear that, you know, hits you for the first, and you know. And one of the things that they times. tell you is, don't, don't even do don't this. Don't do that. This uh, flat, flat hand, flat hand, yeah. Because you know, they 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 are gentle. The horse is like, wow, you're giving me four other carrots here. <laughs> but yeah, like, great. They, they they might they might miss, you know, right? Like they they but, might they might be searching to to find the thing that you're feeding them. But the way in which the horse kind of did the whole like, yeah, you know, mm-hmm. first, that's what they do. Oh yeah, they don't go yep. like this. Right, right. They kind of actually do the whole little. And they yeah, kind of like they, stick, they their, use the they stick their lips. They kind of like uh-huh. oh. to to sort of like to sort of like you know grab onto it so then they can. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. But yeah, especially if you see them like like eating a carrot. Okay, that's one thing. But if you see them like just take a whole apple, you know, and just numb. That that is one of those things where my mind definitely goes to the. Oh God. Mm, yeah. Uh, mm. I. That's uh. uh yeah. Uh. Um. I, I have not spent much time with horses really at all, but the couple times that I've, I've gone to places where there were horses, um, the thing I liked a lot about them was that horses are extremely skittish. Yes. In general, mm-hmm. especially when they're free to run about. Like they don't have to be close to you because they're stuck in a, you know, a, a stall essentially. Right. Um, but, but there is this very real thing that horses can develop connections with people Mm -hmm. because of the demeanor and spirit of those people. It's not just that the horse gets comfortable and feels safe around them, but they'll prefer certain people. So if you have that moment where you're like, oh, ugly son of a bitch or what have you, the horse might literally feel that vibe off you and go like, Mm -hmm. no, I don't like you. Yeah, because I can't remember where I heard it, but but that horses are one of the most like emotionally intuitive animals mm-hmm. that like humans will regularly deal with like they're they're really high up there i think it's also something where we've hit a point as well in the same way that 
not really like dogs, but in the same way that like dogs, we've spent so many time breeding horses that mm, were also domesticated and, and yeah. stuff. Exactly. Right, the not difference some between wild a, stallion exactly, the, the, you know, planes and all that Yeah, the stuff. difference between a wild horse and a horse that's like seven generations of, mm -hmm. you know, horse and stuff like yeah. that um, in domestication and stuff. They, they, they're going to be a lot more conducive to human interaction and stuff. And thus yes. there's that. There's that bond built in like right. very early as well. So but yeah, surprisingly skittish given their size. Very, yeah. yeah. Like, but like yeah, the yeah. one of one of my clearest memories of like, oh, that's how horses are. Is I was visiting these friends, right? Mm -hmm. And they they had horses, right? And you know, like big, you know, like field and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And I was like hanging out with one of the people inside, and out of the window, I saw one of the daughters of the family, small girl. Right. Mm -hmm. And she was like, you know, interacting with the horse, but the horse started giving her some lip. Right. Mm -hmm. And she noticed and she just started like, just like walking towards it. And the horse suddenly like starts backing up like, oh, okay. All right. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. And she just keeps walking. And it's just like, oh, okay. All right. All right. I'm I, I apologize. Yeah, oh, yeah. I I'll, I'll be good now. Asshole. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. And I was just like, that is. Huh. That's sweet. That is yeah. that is the darndest thing. Yeah, I right. remember also uh, a younger brother of ours, um, specifically like going to a horse that was on the other side of a fence, and they would just talk to it, and the horse hmm. would just sit there and listen to him. Really? But eventually, it ended up being to a point where he would like he was little, but he would like hold out his hands the horse there, and the horse would like lean over the fence and put his face there, and they would like they would like cheek hug basically. Hmm. And it was the kind of thing where I was like, wait a minute, this is the same horse. Like, it's not. Oh, it's not just some random horse. It's not just any horse. random yeah. horse here. Every time he'd come over to this fence to go say hi to the horse, the horse would, like, stop whatever it was doing, come over, sit with him. Not really sit with him, but just kind of stand there and be with him. Mm -hmm. And I'd ask him, you know, what he was doing. He was just like, oh, I'm just talking with him. I'm like, oh, okay. But there was a real, like, genuine relationship that was being built and, and, and. And developed there and i was just like oh wow yeah horses are emotionally intelligent and yeah. intuitive but they have that very like solid like not just like object permanence but like kind of remembering the voice you know remembering hmm. the demeanor and stuff like that so it's just something that's, that's really yeah. sweet so yeah if he's going to go into the equestrian club i would love for this to be almost a form of therapy for him as well sure where over the course of time he ends up talking to his right, horse. maybe it's it's the you know oh bad family situation. Right. Wouldn't necessarily want to talk about it with any other students, people. Right. but like if he's alone with a horse on like a ride yep. or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's exactly what yeah. I was thinking of. Yep. Yeah, that could be cool. Yeah, but all right, uh, great, great, uh, more setup. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, he's picked a club. That's and, right. Uh, yes, we now have uh, a the connection. Principal. Well, right, right, but we also have uh, a connection uh, with uh, Komaba Ichiro. Uh, no, 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 not the, the baseball enthusiast. Uh, oh, uh, that's, Tamako, uh, and, Tamako and her yeah. brother, who was the brother. one that, yeah, 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 got the help with <laughs> catching the chickens so he yeah. could butcher them and make smoked chicken. Because right. so smoked chicken is really the, tasty. The way they're building out the cast with them, but then also with the principal, I'm, I'm loving the personality of this environment yeah. that all the people kind of have. And so, yeah. Good stuff. Good, Good stuff. stuff. But yeah, y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access. So you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general. And also be sure to check out my Persona 5 Royal Let's Play on Twitch. And if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.